Welcome to May's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is maximum product of word lengths. Given a string array of words, return the maximum value of length words i times length words j, where the two words do not share common letters. If no such two words exist, return zero. So this is the key here. We need to figure out how do we figure out uh, whether two words share common letters or not. Uh, the rest, I think we can just do straightforward and do a nested loop, compare compare the two words together, uh, all the different combinations anyway, and then if they don't share any characters together, then we'll calculate the length times length of those two words and see if it's greater than the maximum that we've calculated so far. So one way that we could think about how to compare two letters is, say we had ABC and, I don't know, DEF, uh, the simple way to do that is just make this into a set, right? If we make these into a set, then we could just uh, figure out if there's any overlap. If we do an AND for these two words, that's going to tell us whether uh, there's some sort of overlap. And if there isn't any overlap, then the resulting thing will just be an empty set. So if it's an empty set, that means there's no overlap, then we should calculate the product of the length of these both of these two and see if it's greater than maximum. So to do this, uh, what I'll do is first create a lookup and I'm going to make this a default dict with set being the default key. Oops. Okay. Uh, all right. So now uh, let's first calculate the sets for all these words. 4w in words. Look up words. It's just going to be a set of all the words or all the characters inside of the word. Now all I have to do is say, all right, for i in word and for j in words, uh, let's figure out a way to compare if they don't share. Okay, if they don't share any characters, i and j, then we're going to calculate uh, the length of these two and. Uh, see if it's greater than the maximum. So we start with the maximum of zero, and we'll say, okay, max equals uh, max of max and length of i times length of j. Okay, finally, we just return the max. But the key thing is uh, we want to figure out how do we uh, write a function to compare these two. So if they don't share, let's see. If they don't share, we're going to pass in two strings. And what we'll do is uh, we'll say if lookup word and remember these are sets lookup t uh, if they share if something is inside there then it's going to return a false right otherwise return a true okay so this would be the easiest way uh, let's see if this works W. For J in words, a lot of typos today. Must be feeling pretty tired. All right, so that looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and submit that. And that works. So time complexity is going to be n squared uh, times the length of the character characters on the left side of the word, so we'll call it m. So n squared times m. And we do use O of n space because of this uh, lookup here. Now, you could make it a little more efficient by using bitwise. Uh, rather than using a set, what we can do is say, uh, for like a, b, c, for instance, each one of these could represent an index number inside of our bits. So if we had these three here, like this would say, uh, the first one would represent an a, that would be like one. Uh, second, second one works in the B, C like this, and we only have 26 characters, so at the very most we'll have some sort of bitwise to like represent uh, all, oops, all the characters inside of that exist inside of our, our string, and then we can just do an AND um, and compare it to another string and see if it equals a zero. Because if it equals zero, that means no, nothing is shared, right? So we can also do that. Uh, let's see how would I do that though. Um, Okay, for that, I would have to make this an int, and I would uh, get the word and say for each character inside of the word, 
uh, we are going to just calculate our bitwise. So let's start with zero. And we'll say for C and W, um, what we'll do is bit W, uh, we'll do an OR operator, and we will get the ordinal of the character because uh, each one of these characters represents some number, and A equals 97, I believe. So uh, we want A to equal uh, the zero index and B to equal the first index, right? So we can just subtract 97 here. Uh, we'll just subtract 97. And then we'll do a one operator to get the bitwise, or I'm sorry, the one shift. And then we, at the end, this bitwise should be the word. So uh, everything else should remain the same. We can just do an and, and if this is, uh, if something exists here, this would be not zero, right? Otherwise, if it's zero, then we turn it true. So this should also work. Let's see if it works. Oh, what I do here? God, I'm all over the place today. I apologize. Let's see if that works. Okay, so that works too. And let's go and submit it. And accepted. So time complexity and space is actually the same. It's just that we actually, I think we might save a little bit of space uh, because it's not a set anymore. It's going to be in just a bit, right? So we save some space, uh, but time complexity is going to be the same. Uh, so it just really depends on whether you're, you know, comfortable with using bitwise. I personally am not, so I'd rather just go with the set, uh, but it's up to you. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.